is keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> Just keep it simple. There, don't, there doesn't need to be a thousand words. Use a picture. Same thing. More effective. Tell me a story. Start somewhere, have a middle, and finish. Take me on a journey with you. Engage me. Bring me into the story. Don't read bullet points. The fox and the hedgehog. The fox and the hedgehog. Fox is an animal that's pretty good at a lot of little things. Hedgehog is an animal that's amazing at one big thing. Analysis, synthesis. Important to have both. So speak to both sides of my brain. Statistical information is great. Compelling creative information, a big idea that encapsulates that, adding meaning to data, that's amazing. That's something you remember. That's something that you walk away with value. So think about both sides of the brain. There needs to be hard and fast facts and, low, and fine detailed analysis, but you need to take all of those facts and bring them together into something that's a coherent, big idea. A more tactical level. Plan an analog. What do I mean by plan an analog? Best PowerPoint tools, or keynote tools, or whatever you want to use, Moleskine notebook, stickies, whiteboard, great tools for PowerPoint. You can literally just take 20 of these, write ideas on them, and if your idea is too big to fit on something like this, not a good idea. It needs to be two slides, etc. Can't fit here. Not going to do very well up there. So stick these on a board somewhere and say this one goes first, this one goes second, this one goes third. Nah, this one goes first. Move them all around. Do your PowerPoint presentation in analog first, and then when you go to build it, it's simple. You can plan the whole thing out. Another cool technique that I learned, there's a great book called Presentation Zen. It's got a ton of great techniques, but uh, one of the techniques that they talk about is print out blank slides as handouts, where they have the view where there's three slides per page, but just print them blank. You can then write little notes next to that. On this slide, here's what I'm thinking about doing. You draw some pictures, that then you can go and look for those types of images. Here's what I want to convey, etc. But you can draw that in, put your notes all on that, and then go build it. Sketch it out first, and doing an analog makes it a lot easier. Ask for help. This is key. There's plenty of people that will help you. Uh, you don't have to be a graphic designer. You don't have to have mastered, all right, how do I do all this stuff in PowerPoint? Where am I going to find these photos? I don't have an iStock photo account, etc. Ask people for help. No, I'm sure there's somebody within your organization or someone that you know. You can ask me. I'll help you. But ask people for help and don't be afraid of that because otherwise it can be terribly frustrating. And just say yes. Say yes to showing up, not just to PowerPoint presentation, but to life. Show up. If it's important to stand up in front of a group of people and talk about it, don't waste your time. Be mindful, present in the moment, embrace it. You're on stage, you're performing. In the same way that if I had a guitar up here and I was singing songs, if I was telling jokes, whatever that might be, I've asked you guys to pay attention. And if you're asking the same thing of other people, make it worth their while. Make it fun. Engage them. For God's sakes, when you were a little kid like that, don't you remember how fun it was to do things like that? To build projects, to convey that enthusiasm to people, and people will respond. People will learn from you. People will get engaged. That's really important. Have that beginner's mind. Don't have assumptions going into that. Really just Explore it. Be creative. Finally, any questions? Keeping the stain greatest on our presentations? <laughs> <laughs>